What's up guys? It's your boy Hall and today we're going to do a 2023 MLB tier list. Um now guys please be aware I am a committed Yankees fan, so most of the time I don't follow the other teams unless they're playing the Yankees or if they make said trade with the Yankees. Um so basically we have superb, awesome, um I guess mid, uh, we have okay, and then we just got dog war. Um first things first, we're gonna start with the White Sox. That's a fucking D without a doubt. Um, just no, you got a bunch of classless bums over there, just, just no. Um, Arizona, I'm definitely going to say the Dynamax are in, uh, average tier. Um, they just haven't done much in the last couple of years. They are, however, trying to get better. So, I credit where credit's due. Um, Torch is definitely dog water, that's for sure. Um, just don't see anything good coming out of Detroit anytime soon, unless it's the Red Wings. My NHL team, we yeah, I'm a commuter room fan. I have a tattoo, so <laughs> all right, moving on. Braves, that's that's absolute eight tier. They are a very good team right now. Um, just won the World Series two years ago. Core is intact, some players have left, I believe, and they are still very good. Um, next up, the Padres, that's also going to be eight tier. They went to the NLCS last year, lost with the five to the Phillies. Um, I believe if the pitching is stable this year, it will make an impact. Um, let's see. Colorado, that they're dog water. They don't even know what the hell they're doing anymore. They don't even like exist in my mind. All they exist for is just to want to go there and develop and say I'm only career pretty much. Um, let's see. Tampa, we're putting them in C tier. Um, just don't see much, despite the fact they are in the future and they'll start to season at the time of making this video anything could change in stand by me um sorry the obvious yankees are in superb tier because we're the yankees it's what we do um pirates i see them in average tier um because i do see potential in them right now they are off to a good start despite Neil cruz fracturing his ankle um kansas city i don't know what the fuck they do anymore um other than just exist everywhere so that's D tier. Uh, Dodgers, I'm definitely going to put S tier. You know, they do do good every year. That's why Gavin Lux tearing his knee this year. Not playing this year as a result because of it. Um, let's see. These two are fucking obvious. Mets can suck my fucking dick. They just are a bunch of bums. They're fans of Mets of society. They think they're God's greatest gift. And they think, like, they're the shit they don't sing. And somehow, in some way, they're above the Yankees. Uh, yeah, you don't have more choice of rings. Sit your fucking asses down. Get the fuck out of here. Um, Red Sox, for the same exact reason, the fact they have done anything since 2018. D tier. Uh, alright, alright, let's see. Marlins, I'm gonna say C tier. They are giving it their best shot. Um, unfortunately, it looks like the full fruition since making the playoffs in the COVID year. Um, so they, they are trying those. I give them props there. And I'll say San Fran is in C tier. Why? Because. What have they really done since the Torbett's World Series? Um, moving on. Okay, let's see if we got all these left. We know Twins. Basically, what I'm looking at is superb, great, good, very good, good, and just terrible. I'm going to say Twins are good, just they don't look good at the time. Um, shit happens. <laughs> Phillies are definitely going eight tier. I mean, they were in the World Series last year, so they deserve to be there. Um, let's see, Astros. I'm gonna say S tier. They won the World Series last year. They got two rings. As much as I hate them, it 2017 was a rigged year, but hey, they still won it regardless of the rigged or they cheated or not. So it, it's still a title and count the man for its book. So I have to go with Emily Commissioner standards, and that's it. Okay, moving on. Brewers, um, I don't know. I'm definitely going to put the Cubs in a tier. They're also a blistering hot start. They have a visual of what they're doing, and they seem to enjoy doing it. Um, moving on. The Guardians, I'm going to put this in C tier. Just, I don't know what the fuck's going on in Cleveland. Probably don't even want to know. You know, I live in Youngstown, Ohio, as a person who moved here from Pescow, New Jersey, about seven years ago. So, <laughs> I don't want to know what's going on in Cleveland unless they're playing the Yankees. So, 
Age is obvious. They fucking suck. No one wants to go to their jeans or the stadium's completely run down. Like, the World Trade Center was out there. It was destroyed in 9 11. I hate to say it, but that's how I feel. Um, don't cancel me, please. Um, and the everyone who had it was terrifying. They lost one. I apologize, but that's just how I feel. Let's see. Blue Jays, I'm going to say they're up there with Pittsburgh. Um, again, have a visual of the win. But I don't think they're going to get like Pittsburgh, but they will have a good year. I think we could stay together. Um, Reds, I'm going to say C tier. Um, because Cincinnati, I just don't understand what goes on in the boogie down. So, that's the same thing as the A's. Why are you in the league? You won the World Series four years ago. You still have a useful sense. Um, now. Um, Angels, I'm definitely going to say they're in B tier. Uh, Tiny and Child are good players. Um, I just wish that built the team around other players who would make the team better than just Child and Otani. Um, so that's just me. Orioles, they have potential. They definitely had a seesaw affair with the Yankees last, it was last Friday, last Thursday, Friday ish. Um, they were really good to take us on in that series this most recent weekend, Easter weekend. So they go in B tier. Um, four teams left. Um, let's see. St. Louis, they are very good. I'm going to eight here. Um, Texas, they spent a lot of money all season. They did get Jacob DeGrom. They stole him from the Mets. And I believe DeGrom, he had a shaky first start, but he had used to the ale since he was in the NL most of his career. But he is pitching lights out right now. He, he's definitely going to make them better. So are Corey Seager. I definitely think if Texas does not make the playoffs this year, I think they wasted their money for fucking nothing. So, just how I feel about them. Um, no biased feelings towards them. And if, I was going to say, oh, it's because they beat you to join the LCS. Well, I kind of still have to go. But still, um, I'm 24, by the way. I go on 25 in a couple months. Um, I was like, shit, 11, 12 years old when that happened. Mariners, they got potential. Not there yet. Gonna go beat her. Um, Brewers, who traded one of their best pitchers and faltered afterwards, but I do see potential and they're gonna go in beat her. So, this is my list. Again, I went off how I feel for each team, what I personally think of them. Uh, so, part two, you've got the obvious choices here the Yankees and the Dodgers. You have the Astros down there too, and then you got the Braves, Padres, Phillies, Cubs, Cards. Um, Rangers, I almost said Texas, what the fuck told me. And that's here, and this is like teams I see some potential in. Teams I know are eventually going to get better, and teams that just should not fucking exist in the MLB. Just, just no. Um, like, I feel like if you're going to go play for the Mets or the Red Sox, you're basically going to Flushing Queens or to Boston, but fucking die. Like, there are teams just sitting there to die, pretty much. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what to say about that. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.